Welcome back everyone and a happy Saturday. So thanks to the cooler and drier air filtering in across the Rio Grande Valley, that means that our dew points are pretty low compared to the dew points we had these last couple of days where they were in the upper 60s to low 70s, which means that conditions outside were warm and muggy and just plain gross out there. But that's not the case for today or the next couple of days. However, warmer conditions are on their way, but not for the overnight hours. The overnight lows will drop into the 50s under partly cloudy skies. So if you do have plans to go out tonight or you have an early start tomorrow, I recommend packing a jacket, maybe even layer up because conditions are going to be a little bit on the chilly side. And it's going to be like that, especially as we head toward South Padre Island because conditions are a little bit on the cooler side uh, for the next couple of days. So tomorrow, the temperatures are going to be in the 70s. Monday, that's when that warm up is going to start, not just along South Padre Island, but for everyone across the Rio Grande Valley. And this is actually really good news because this upcoming week is technically spring break and temperatures just continue to warm up as we head into these next couple of days. And that's thanks to our winds. So starting on Monday, those winds will start shifting into a southerly flow, bringing back that warm golf moisture. And that's exactly how we're going to be warming up. But what's also happening the, with this weekend is going to be that time change. So remember, we spring Bring forward one hour, so don't be surprised later on tonight at 2 in the morning when you lose an hour of sleep. So just plan accordingly these next couple days just to get used to that new routine. But as far as temperatures, here is a closer look within the next seven days. Remember that warm up technically starts on Monday and those clouds will be sticking around as well. But then as we head into the middle of the work week, those temperatures will return into the upper 80s. So conditions are going to be pretty warm out there. But not to worry, we are going to get yet another cold front as we head into next weekend. That cold front seems to be a little bit of a stronger one than the one that we received late last night. And early this morning, it's going to bring those cooler temperatures for us once again. And it's also going to bring those rain chances. However, we are a couple of days out, so just make sure to check back in with CBS4 with the latest updates. But until then, those temperatures are just going to be pretty warm. And that's the main story for these next couple of days. Yeah, so make sure you change those clocks. We we're losing an hour, but then again, there's a bright side. We have longer days. Oh, yes. It doesn't yeah. get darker faster. Exactly, yeah. So if you're the type, the type of person that enjoys being outside, mm -hmm. having more sun time, then that's really good news for you. But for those people who are night owls, mm -hmm. I feel for you. Because I'm, I'm one of Me too. I'm one of I'm them. I'm that type of person, but <laughs> I don't want to lose my sleep. Yeah. But oh well, you know, mm. that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> All right, Brianna, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and look at sports with Blake. How you doing, Blake?